Tonight, Russia's dramatic retaliation against Ukraine's allies and a surprise prisoner swap with the U.S. Russia cutting off gas supplies to two NATO members in a move the EU denounced as blackmail. Will it impact U.S. gas prices? Vladimir Putin stepping up his threats, vowing a lightning-fast response if countries interfere in Ukraine. It comes as Russia releases a U.S. Marine veteran as part of a prisoner exchange. How the deal was made amid soaring tensions. Also tonight, the scathing report, a state investigation launched after the death of George Floyd, finding Minneapolis police engage in a pattern of racial discrimination. So what happens now? The Secretary of Homeland Security on the hot seat, lawmakers grilling him on border security, and just in, the major ruling on the Biden administration's plan to lift a Trump-era pandemic policy at the border. After more than two years, what Dr. Anthony Fauci said about the U.S., finally leaving the COVID pandemic behind. Remembering Madeleine Albright, President Biden leading the emotional tributes to America's first woman, Secretary of State. This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening. A veiled threat from Vladimir Putin to the West tonight as Russian forces feel the bite of American-supplied weapons to Ukraine. Putin tonight vowing a lightning-fast response to outside interference and strategic threats to Russia, saying we have all the tools for this. During the conflict, Putin has reminded the West of his advanced nuclear weapons capabilities. Undeterred, officials in the Biden administration say they are preparing to send Congress a request for additional Ukraine aid, described as massive in scale. Moscow, meantime, pulling the trigger on energy exports. Today, cutting two NATO allies off from Russian oil and natural gas supplies. It Shalom, Akim, all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Rakat, Gash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone. Salutations to you, sincere Akimati of the hopeful elect. All right. And, um, you know, I just wanted to show this little brief clip from um, from last night's news. All right. And, um, you know, night, uh, from NBC's nightly news, you know, showing you that Putin and, and Russia, they're not playing around, man. Okay. I mean, we've been talking about this for decades long in. That America's going to be destroyed and Russia's going to be the main country to do it, you know, as prophesied in the scriptures in the Holy Bible. All right. So to us, it sounds like a broken record. But um, to you people who are now paying attention to nuclear threats and, you know, and a lot of you coming to the realization that, yeah, there's a great possibility that there can be a nuclear war. OK, as, as what was said on this news clip, Russia's advanced nuclear weapons, okay? So, things about to heat up, man. And I just want to um, bring out one scripture. I'm bringing this scripture out again. It's the same scripture I brought out in the last video. This is Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 13, verse 33. Salakia, verse 23. It says, when a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. And look what he saith, they extol it to the clouds. All right. Yeah. When a rich man speaketh, see, you have the so-called white man, which he's in his kingdom. All right. And he's a very rich man. OK, that's why they have the financial backing to set up a media broadcast such as the mainstream news. All right. NBC, CBS, Fox, Five. All right. Uh, ABC. OK, which all of these uh, mainstream news stations are basically ran by so-called Jews. When you when you um when you. Do some real research on it you'll see that you know that that it all ties back to some so-called jews who are um very rich by the way okay so you know that the these devils are putting it all over the news that there's a possibility of a nuclear threat so now people want to start taking things seriously but see when we was out there teaching this for decades on end like like i stated people looked at us like we were crazy man those crazy Israelites talking about America's going to be destroyed. Y'all been talking about this forever. All right. Y'all said this was going to happen in the year 2000. Y'all said this was going to happen in 2012. Okay. So y'all was looking at us like we were crazy, man. You know, we had the signs with the missile. America's going to be destroyed with the, um, with the missile that had, um, that had the initials USSR representing the Soviet Union. And y'all, oh, the, the, the Soviet Union broke up. All right, so you guys are out, you guys are out your mind, okay? But when the so-called white man tells you 
you know, through his news, through his mainstream media, that's when you people want to start taking things more serious. Okay? You know, I, I even hear it at work with people talking about, and these are Jake's on my job. They said, yo, man, Putin is crazy. He's a madman. He's going to blow us up. He's going to, yo, he's going to wind up blowing this place up, man. You know? So, you know, the, 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 the reality is starting to sink in. But sad enough, it takes the so-called white man to push this message to you so that you can understand. All right? And we've been telling you that this is biblical prophecy. Okay? So I'm going to read on. It says, but if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. That's right, man. So like I stated, we've been speaking this for years, man. Bringing it out in the Holy Bible. The same Bible that you have in your houses. The same Bible that you so-called Negroes uh, have in your churches that you flock to every Sunday. Okay? You know, we bring out, we, we've been bringing this message out for the longest. Out of this very same book that's collecting dust in your house, man. All right? That you pay these pork chop pastor fake ministers in your in your churches uh, uh, offerings every week to feed you nothing but lies, man. They've never brought this type of information out, man. You know? But when we bring it out, you say, man, what, what, what the hell? What, what the hell is this, man? What, what makes you so special, man? You know? That you that you uh that you guys are teaching out of the Bible like you some biblical scholars and such, claiming to be the prophets, man. All right, you ain't nothing but Joe Schmo that live next door, man. Okay, you work a regular nine to five job like us. Most of you guys look like bums, man, like deadbeats. You don't take care of your families. All right, you you guys talk all kind of ish about us, man. All right, and meanwhile, all we've been doing was bringing out the word of the Most High telling you the truth but when the so-called white man brings it out that's when you want to take heed okay and that's why the most high is going to destroy two-thirds of you niggas man two-thirds of you going to be destroyed man in this very same nuclear threat that russia is um is gearing towards america all right this is um this is the book of ezekiel chapter 33 verse 33 it says and when this come to pass and when this cometh to pass lo it will come then shall they know that a prophet has been among them, okay? So when this comes to pass, when, this, when these missiles get to flying over here to America, all right, and that nuclear threat uh, becomes, a, be, 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 becomes a reality, geared into play, into motion, that's when you're going to realize that there was a prophet among you. But then it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late, all right? And that's why we tell you now, man, to get right, repent, Come back to your nationality and worship your true power. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, the Most High, who, who's Yahweh, and his son Yahweh Shah, who are two black men or entities, so to speak. All right? You know, in which two thirds of Israel, you're not willing to accept that. And that's why you're going to be destroyed, man. And when, when you see the Lord, all right, who's a so called black man, like I stated, like the scriptures tell you, right? Forget what I say. Don't, you don't have to take my word for it. But everything I'm saying can be backed up by the scriptures, all right? When you see the Lord who is a so-called black man and you see the anger and the fury in his face, all right? That's when you people, that's when you people going to know you fucked up, man. And that all of the time, those Hebrew Israelites were teaching you the truth. They were telling you the truth that the Lord is a black man, okay? All right? And that's your, your and, and, and the majority of you people, when you see him, you know you ain't going to be delivered. You know damn well he ain't coming back to deliver you, man. All right? Okay? Because he's not that pushover, all-loving, peaceful guy that you've been taught by your uh, pork chop ministers in them churches, man. And the lies you've been taught by the so-called white man. Okay? So, you know, when, that, when all of this hits the fan, you're going to think about us. We're going to be the first uh, people on your mind. All right? When all hell breaks loose in the society and that... Ticket stream come across your TV saying this is not a test. Russia has launched nuclear missiles at America. Okay? And then the, the, then the clouds in the skies get cracked open with UFOs with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, an angry black man on it. All right? Then you're going to say, damn, man, them guys were right. They, are the, they really were the prophets, man. The Lord was really dealing with those guys. Okay? But then it's going to be too late to repent. And you're going to be destroyed, man. So I'm going to end this video on that note. I'm going to say Shalom, Baba Rakim. Lord willing, I'll see you in the next one. Shalom.